Hello everyone, this is Adam from Nuclear.com and today I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about Sonic Adventure. Originally released as a launch title for the Dreamcast, it was re-released on the GameCube as Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut, and is now available on Xbox Live Arcade, the Sony Entertainment Network, and PC. Despite fickle results from critics and fans, I really enjoyed this game. Speed Highway, Highway remains one of my favorite stages of all time in 3D Sonic history. In fact, Sonic Adventure was supposed to release in 1997 on the Sega Saturn, but after Sega found out the console was failing and couldn't live up to the power of the Dreamcast, they decided to shift development to the Dreamcast. In fact, Chaos was designed specifically to utilize the power of the Dreamcast's processing power, which couldn't be done in the Sega Saturn. The 3D world in Sonic Jam, that people know really well, was actually a testing area that would later be used for developing Sonic Adventure. As you can guess, a lot of hard work went into developing Sonic Adventure, with the developers at Sonic Team traveling to Central and South America for research. Since the internet was still in its infancy, the team couldn't trust the photos that they picked up. Instead, they wanted first-hand experience exploring ancient ruins and forests. They, wanted, they even went as far as to include their photographs as textures within the game. And their hard work eventually paid off, with the game selling over 2.5 million units, becoming the most successful Dreamcast game to ever sell. Of course, like all big budget games, certain content had to be cut. For example, you can find unused dialogue hidden within the game's code that highlights to call explaining to Sonic to collect 50 rings to transform into Super Sonic. Unlike past 2D Sonic games, Sonic Adventure was the first game to showcase Super Sonic in a standalone story. Speaking of characters, the most criticized character would have to be E-102 Gamma. This was the first time he was included in the game and was created because of fan requests. You see, Sega fans wanted a type of shooting mechanic included in Sega's next game. However, the, team, the development team at Sonic Team didn't feel like it would fit Sonic's persona so they created E-102 instead. Which I totally agree with their actions because remember how good Shadow the Hedgehog was? Yeah, it was not. Plus, E-102's storyline was very alleviating from the childlike manner the actual story was. He was really a depressing storyline because he tried to rescue all his friends from a life of imprisonment as robotic creatures. But anyway, that's it for now. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.